Hi, and welcome to Coffee with Claire. Today we're going to talk about intuition. Intuition is another way that we communicate sometimes with ourselves. And um, some people are really good at listening to their intuition, and other people always want to log logically state things and um, not listen to their intuition. But what happens is that when we don't listen to our intuition, bad things can happen to us. In fact, a lot of people, you know, once if they're interviewing them after they've been mugged, they'll say, you know what, I had a funny feeling about that guy or that gal, and they ignore it. And then things happen. So why don't we take our intuition seriously? A lot of times it's because it's called fluffy. But the really creative geniuses know how to use their intuition to their advantage. For example, Thomas Edison used to keep a cot in his lab and he would take naps frequently because he knew that in that subconscious mind is where all the creativity occurred. And he would hold these steel balls in his hand and when he just started to drift off to sleep, he would drop those balls. And he trained himself to instantly wake up and write down whatever idea he had and try it out. Did it work all the time? No. But more often than not, it did. And if he hadn't been listening to his intuition, he never would have had all of those brilliant ideas. So my challenge for you this week is this. Think about your intuition and when you're using it. And use your sleep time to help solve your problems. And so what you might try doing is putting a journal by your bed and if you're troubled by something, ask for a solution before you go to bed. If you're not, then just think, I want to dream big and bold. And then once you wake up in the morning before you do anything else, write down what you had dreamt about. Let us know how that works out for you on our Facebook page, Coffee with Claire. As you know, every week we bring in entrepreneurs, people who give back to the community, and people who like to have fun. And today, our guest is Christina Carlin, the clairvoyant coach. Well, there's a lot of alliteration right there, huh? Christina is based in Austin, Texas, but she has clients all over the world. Christina communicates with the divine to receive direction and guidance with her work. So welcome, Christina. So excited to Thank have you, you here. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. So let's just dive right in. When did you discover that you had this gift of communication with spirit? Well, I've had it all my life. I really have. It's, when I was younger, though, I feel like I closed it down. Mm. I feel like I was using it and... Um, I was saying things to people, not realizing why I would say the things that I would say to them. Mm -hmm. And my mother, I remember one time we went to my aunt's, and I blurted out why were her and my uncle fighting. Oh. And when we left, <laughs> when we left, she said, "Why did you say that?" And so I feel like I got the message at an early age that it wasn't safe to use my gifts, mm. and so I shut it down. It wasn't until many years later. I was going through a very, very hard time in my life. I would say it was like a deep night of the soul. Mm -hmm. And I found myself in my bathroom literally bawling, crying. And um, I was asking God, you know, God, I, I don't know if I want to do this. It's so hard, you know, to be here. And it was in that moment that I felt like I heard him tell me, it's time for you to use your gift. And I was thinking, I don't know what you know, what, what that was about. What, what, what gift, right? Yeah, what gift, because I had shut it down, and it had been so long since I'd used it, but the urge got stronger and stronger, and then my gift just slowly started opening up. And so I started reading for family and friends. And were they okay with that after your mom had shut you down before? Did, were they okay with your well, reading them? Or? It's funny that you say that, because my very best friend, Erica, who lived across the street from me, I asked her if I could read from her, because we're still friends to this day, and I asked her if I could read for her and she said yes and uh, when I asked her she said you know I always knew you had a gift growing up because you would know things about so who, whoever we were playing with or a teacher and so she was very okay with it and the information that came through I think blew her away she had gone to a garage sale and she had bought some furniture and she was you uh, 
refurbishing the furniture in her garage, mm -hmm. and I was able to tell her that I saw the furniture and what she was refurbishing, and she was like, "Wow, you can see that. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> you can see that I'm redoing some furniture, and I no. said, yes, and there was many other things I shared for her, but it was very enlightening, and I think that was the beginning of me realizing that I needed to do this in a bigger way. Yeah, and have the encouragement, mm -hmm. you know, because when sometimes when we're different from people, when they don't understand, they want to push us down. Yes. You know, and it, they don't mean yes. it in a, in a bad way. It's mm -hmm. just that it's their fear coming up, right? Right. That, yes, yeah. very much so. So good for you for following your heart instead of your head and everybody else that was telling you yeah. stuff and, and, you know, embracing your gift because we need you. We Thank need you. you. I, I feel the same way. Yes, I do. So um, what makes what you do special? There's a lot of clairvoyant folks out there. So what's what's your maybe area of specialty or concentration? I don't even know what to ask. Well, that's a very good question because you're right. There is a lot of people out there who have gifts. But I feel like my gift is to really work with people one-on-one -on -one or in groups. And I'm able to go into a person's energy field and I'm able to really show them where they're blocking themselves in life, where their fears are, where they're holding themselves back. And a lot of times it goes back to their childhood right. or it goes back to a parent or mm -hmm. it goes back to a situation that they had and maybe they aren't remembering, but it's really holding them back. It's just like in their like cells? Subconscious mind. It's oh, in okay. their subconscious mind. Gotcha. It's very deep in their subconscious mind. And I'm able to kind of bring it right up front. And once they revisit that, I like to clear it. I said, you know what, that's not your story. Mm -hmm. That is the story of someone else. Would you like to create a new story for yourself? And that's where the fun really begins. Oh my gosh, I bet it's very rewarding seeing people when they start at one place and then you're helping them get through, make that breakthrough really to the next thing. It's very rewarding. I mean, this truly feels like my passion. Well, I can tell. <laughs> so. Um, why have you chosen this path? I mean, out of all the things that you could do, I know it's a gift, but you know, you could choose to do this on, you know, many different platforms. Mm -hmm. So, so why the way you're doing it here? Like I said, it's my passion, and then also because I got the calling. I, I really want to be true to that calling, and I've tried to walk away from it and do other things, but I just keep being redirected back. And when I see the people that I work with change and grow and they find their happiness mm -hmm. and they shine, it makes it all worth it. So I think that's the reason why I keep wanting to really get out there and do this. So um, do you have any suggestions for our viewers to help them tap into their own divine guidance? I would say if you feel like you're, try you're struggling and you're not sure what path you want to take, I would say find a quiet place, go within, Go within and start asking questions about yourself. Okay. Start getting quiet. Meditation is wonderful. I think that's a good way to open you up to answers and um, maybe answers that you hadn't thought of. I feel like sometimes that's the way God speaks to us is through meditation. Well, I, I think even slowing down, you know, meditation yes. allows you to mm -hmm. slow down and um, reconnect with Source. Exactly. You know, yes. and when you're when you're in that mm -hmm. that zone, you you hear things that if you're too if you're so busy all the time, you just you can't hear them or you can't see the signs. That's ex exactly right. I feel like when you slow down, then God can get in and God can talk to you and direct your life. But when you're busy, 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 and sometimes distraction is a way of sabotaging. It really mm -hmm. is. It's, oh. It keeps you from your greatness. It, or avoiding it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm too busy. I don't have time yeah. to be great right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. um, we have a real treat today. Um, Christina is actually going to do a live reading for us, and we have an audience volunteer. So um, come on up, Christ Kristen, and we're going to do some readings. Hi, Kristen. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you today. Have you ever had a reading before? I have not. Thank you, Christina. I'm excited. Me too. So is there a question you'd like to ask me? Um, there is. It's a business related. Um, with my business, I've got a lot of opportunities that have come forth. And can you give me some clarity, some focus, Just kind of send me in a direction? <laughs> sure, sure. Well, when I'm in your energy and when I feel you, I feel you 
have a lot of things going on, like you're juggling many, many, many balls. But the one thing that stands out for me, for you, is that you're very, very creative. And I really feel like you need to open that up more. I don't think you're taking yourself to the level that you want to take yourself to or that you could really be at. Does that make sense? It does. Um, one of the things I do is facilitate vision board workshops. I, I love to give people the time and the honor to the space to kind of look at their life and kind of create and look give them a place to manifest some things. So. That's perfect because what I was seeing, I was seeing you really, it, it almost felt like a collage. I was almost going to ask you if you were doing collages because that's what I saw. So okay. thank you for that. Okay. But I feel this is just going to be a window or a stepping into what is to come next. Okay. Something has held you back though. That's what I get. I get that you have been playing small and I feel it's like not feeling like you could, you've been kind of hiding behind other people okay. and letting them shine. It's time for you to step in okay. and really have confidence. It's about confidence. Okay. It's about feeling safe and stepping into your creativity because okay. I do think that there's a block there and I think this is linked maybe back to a past relationship. I'll leave it at that, but does that make sense? Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but I also feel like if you pursue, uh, there's, are you doing some kind of healing work? Because I am getting like it feels like some kind of, I don't know if it's sound or if it's meditation, but I do see you doing some kind of healing work. I collaborate with a sound healer, so Perfect. to help get him out there. I can totally get that. Um, I feel like that grounds you. I feel like it keeps you very relaxed. And I actually think, that, like I talked about earlier, that is opening you up. And I also get writing for you. Okay. I do see you writing. That's new. Okay. And um, if it's new, I would say just hone in on your writings, whether it be through writing skills, whether it be through journaling, okay. or possibly um, just getting quiet and just letting the energy flow through. It doesn't even have to make sense. Okay. I tell clients sometimes, you know, just start writing. And after a while, you might see a pattern develop that turns into a story. Okay. Right. But I do think that that you have something there around writing. Okay. Uh, but what's holding you back, they're telling me, is fear. There's okay. some fear around really showing up. Okay. Does, that, does that make sense for you? Um, yeah, I guess because I'm always working with everyone else. So I'm not used to being in front of the camera. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so this is, there. yes, so it would be new for you to be in front okay. and to really be selling yourself. Okay. But I really think that that would be perfect for you and you're ready okay. and um, I think it's fear and then self-worth. Okay. I'm also picking up some self-worth issues. Okay. Again, I, I want to link it back to, an, to a relationship that really feels like it, it held you back. Okay. Um, and then just insecurity. Okay. So do you meditate? Do you? I do. Yes. Wonderful. But yes. then that's a start. I would say okay. continue doing that. Okay. You know, explore the writing and then explore this vision board. Okay. Because I think that really sinks to your soul and the reason why is because you're able to express mm -hmm. and that's very key for you to really feel like you can express yeah I love, so. I love working I love helping people and I love working with people on their vision boards to sometimes introduce them to what a vision board is but really help them create the boards because when it's done it's so amazing and I love doing awesome. that part so. awesome well yeah. thank you again for allowing me to be here thank you very you. much I appreciate this it this is awesome thank you Wow, Christina, that was amazing. I could tell in Kristen's eyes that you had really impacted her. So just in a short amount of time, you guys, you can see how impactful Christina is. So if our audience wants to find you, where do they find you? Well, I would suggest they go to my website, christinacarlin.com. Okay. Okay. That's Christina with an A and C-A-R-L-I-N. And you've got a, a contact form there they can fill out and then you can... Yes, I do. Awesome. So. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It was such I an honor. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So today we're going to play a game called One Word Story. And the way this game goes is I'm going to say one word, and then Ellen will say the next word, then Shelby will say the next word, and Christina will say the next word, and we'll be telling a story kind of like in group mind one word at a time. So from the audience, we need to have a noun and a verb. So a noun would be a person, place, or thing. Kangaroo, Kangaroo okay. And a verb would be something that gives us some action. Flying. What? Flying. flying. The flying kangaroo. Okay. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> one day 
Bob. Flu. Over. The. Cuckoo's. Nest. And. Hit. A. Ball. That. Was. Green. And. Flying. On. Planet. Earth. He. Was. Tired. And. Cranky. So. He. Fell. Into. The. Ocean. Period. Then. He. Washed. Up. Shore. And. <laughs> fiddled. With. A. Large. Hat. Period. <laughs> After a long time, he got up and found himself in a cave alone. Sadly, he was hurt. Mom, help! Me get out of this mess! <laughs> but he was alone and afraid. So he took a spoon and found a spot on the beach to quietly contemplate the end <laughs> good job all right so well we really didn't have anything about a kangaroo but you know that's what happens in the story sometimes <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay, all right. So, wait, he was just, he was flying, and yeah, anyways, yeah, you get the idea. Thank you, ladies, appreciate yeah. you. Oh, we're all so busy. How do you balance fun with responsibility at work? Uh, I think it's about uh, kind of keeping our priorities straight and knowing uh, where what needs to be done and, and really focusing uh, in on that, and then kind of giving yourself time as well to relax and to, to have that fun, give you yourself that freedom to have fun. So what are some of the fun things about growing your business? Um, really just seeing it grow, actually, where it's, you know, where you reach out and, and you can see your, um, your customer base just kind of grow with time, and that's really gratifying to, to see that where, you know, you're reaching out to you know, 10,000 people, then suddenly 100,000 people, and you know, it's just, you just build up that customer base. So how do you encourage others in their life to have fun? Um, I think give yourself the freedom to, to um, kind of put yourself out there and fail, and to, and to enjoy it, and where it's, where, like, it, we're so dominated by success stories where everyone thinks that you succeed on the first try, but it's not about that, and you can just have fun in the process. So, um, what advice could you give someone that might be struggling right now as to how to keep it fun? Um, I don't sweat the small things, really. I think that, uh, at least personally for me, there, there's a lot of anxiety about smaller things. But when I when I kind of remind myself that it, they're not that you know important in the end, or they're not, it, it's not something ultimately that I, I can get this fixed. I can, you know, get everything on you know, right back on track, then I can kind of let myself kind of let go and kind of refocus in on what I need to do. So tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, with Six Months Smiles, we provide uh, short-term orthodontics to uh, adults uh, who are, don't want to uh, kind of have to wear metal braces, and it's kind of an alternative to comprehensive orthodontics. So if you had a happy dance or a happy stance, what would that look like? Uh, I really like the like the Captain Morgan kind of thing, so it's like... <laughs> so my challenge for you this week is to be in tune with your intuition. Keep a journal by your bedside, and when you're getting ready to go to bed, think of either something that's been bothering you that you'd like a solution for, 
or if you're okay, just say to yourself before you go to sleep, I want to dream big and bold. And then in the morning, before you do anything else, write down what you dreamt about and act on it. See what happens. Let us know how that works for you on our Facebook page, Coffee with Claire. And remember, follow the fun. See you next time.